Hello everyone, this question is about integration. Find the exact area of the shaded region bounded by the curve the x-axis, the line x equals 1 half. So this is the shaded part. So um, to find the area, we're going to need the um, x-intercepts. So the first one is 1 half. For the second one, we have to solve the function equals 0. So y equals 0. Okay, because this is x-intercept. It's got to be something comma zero, so the y must be zero, and the y is from the question x cubed ln x, which means we have x cubed equals zero or ln x equals zero. We cannot use x equals zero because obviously this is not when the x is zero. So we solve ln x equals zero, which means we do e to the power of e to the power of, we cancel out, so we have only x on the left, and e to the zero is one. So the boundaries the limits of the integration are one half and one now to find the area we use the integral from one half to one of the function dx notice that we use negative here because this area is under the x-axis which means the integral will be something negative so area is something positive that's why we use minus times minus which is plus later Okay, now how do we integrate ln x x cubed? So um, here we have to use the integration by parts. This is the MF19 formula of integration by parts. And if you simplify, you know, cancel out, this is actually u dv. So the integral of u dv equals uv minus integral v du. This is the form I usually use. So um, to use the form, the integration by parts formula, we need to identify the u and the dv. Let's say the u is ln x and the dv is x cubed. Okay, so in case you are wondering why, because it's if you just try the other way around, it's gonna be um, wrong basically. Okay, so usually we use the simple x cubed as the u, usually, but in this case, if you use x cubed as the u, you can differentiate x cubed no problem. But the problem is we cannot really integrate ln x dx. So that's why we use u equals ln x. Okay, so whenever you have ln x times something here, you have to use ln x as the u. So we differentiate ln x with respect to x. We get 1 over x using this MF19 formula, which means if you just um, multiply both sides by dx we have du equals something so we have the u we have the du now for the dv so x cubed dx is the dv which means if we integrate both sides here so the integral of dv is the same as the integral of 1 dv so the integral is just using the usual integration formula just like the integral of 1 dx is x, the integral of 1 dv is v, and the integral of x cubed is using this formula, the new power is 4 divided by the power, the new power 4. So we have the dv and we have the v, we have everything we need. Now we can apply the integration by parts formula. So what we get is u v minus integral v du with the same terminals of integration. Oh, um, by the way, here, notice that we swap the terminals of integration because this is minus times. So if you want to don't use minus here, you can on just swap the terminals of integration. Okay, so this is with minus, this is without minus, but we swap the terminals of integration. Okay, so this is what we use for the terminals of integration. And now if we simplify a little here and we can pull out the 1 fourth and x over to the power of 4 times 1 over x is x cubed. So we're going to have to integrate x cubed. Just like this, we get 1 fourth x to the power of 4. So if we simplify, we have 1 over 16. Now we plug in 1 half, plug in 1, and subtract. So if we plug in 1 half, this is what we get. If we plug in 1, this is what we get. And then we have to subtract. 
Now, since we are looking for the exact value, are we looking for the exact value? Yes, the exact area. So, since we are looking for the exact area, you cannot simply use your calculator for all these calculations. Okay, so you can try, but if you get decimals not exact, you gotta um, separate the calculations. So, here you can just use your calculator for this part only. You'll get 1 over 64. And for this part, you can't really use a calculator. So you're gonna have to use the rules and logarithm. One half is the same as two to the power of minus one, and you can move this minus one out of the logarithm. You have minus one times ln two. And from calculator, you will get this. And so here you can use your calculator. Ln one is actually zero. You get this. And here, yeah, you don't need a calculator. It's minus one over sixteen. So again, from here, we're gonna get a minus ln2. This is what you get. And you can use your calculator for minus one over 256, minus minus, so it's actually plus one over 16. Use a calculator, you get 15 over 256. So the exact area is this guy here. All right, I'll see you again next time.